Welcome back to another A Manager's Blog. Um, with me, John, today is Monday and sees us uh, playing Bristol Spartak in the uh, the Fieldwood Cup tonight. So, um, short turnaround from Saturday's game and, and Saturday's uh, excellent win. But um, yeah, it's a short turnaround, so it's a, a, a few changes to the side tonight. Um, getting back for the Cup game and it was going to be the second group game um, for Fieldwood Cup so it was a must win for us tonight to put us into a position of uh, qualifying in the top two in the group we want to really get the win um, to put us in a good position um, a draw would, wouldn't would probably be the end of the world it's, it's, it would mean we would have to win our last uh, our last group game which comes up this Thursday but really I mean if we want to have a chance of progressing um, and qualifying into the semi-finals we need to go out and get that win tonight but it's going to be a tough game um, Bristol Spartak uh, going to be a really tough game for us but um, like I said we knew that in terms of when we went into the cup the, the standard of the opposition was going to be very high but um, yeah we're going in full of confidence after Saturday's uh, great win, 5-4 uh, win, so um, yeah, uh, tough game, full of confidence, um, going to be a few changes tonight, um, Callum returns to the to the side tonight, our captain, um, missed Saturday's game, um, but he returns to the side tonight, a uh, few, few sort of tweaks in formation as well, which obviously I'm not going to sort of go too much into on, on the video, but um, yeah, I think we're going into uh, into the game in, in, in a, a good good shape. Um, bigger squad, as you know, from, from Saturday, we sort of decimated with, with people not being here and injuries and holidays and stuff like that. So a bit of a stronger squad, squad tonight and a bit more in depth. But um, yeah, tough game. Um, all I'm asking, like I always ask for my team, is to go out and play with confidence and freedom and, and have a go. If we, if that gets us, it gets us to win. Fantastic, because they're, we're, we know we're a good team with good players. Um, but as long as they go out with that right mentality and go in and trying to win the game, play with the freedom and, and the confidence, I can't ask for any more than that. And if we're beat by a better side, um, then then so be it. But there's nothing to be done with that. But um, yeah, certainly I want to sort of see us go into uh, tonight's game like we like we went into Saturday's game because um, I thought I've, we're at our best when we're relaxed, confident, playing playing our football, um, and that, that's all I'll ever ask from my side is that we go out, work hard, and, and play with that freedom, and then the, the results should take care of itself. And uh, yeah, um, really looking forward to it. Excited by tonight's match. Realistically, we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, but uh, yeah, it, I, I'm always confident with my players because, like I said, we do have we have good players ourselves. What can change a game in an instant? So it's um, yeah, I think we're always going to have a chance against teams, but we know we have to be our, our bring our A game to to win and beat teams of this caliber. But um, let's see what it brings. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm quietly confident, but. Players would go out and face that sort of uh, that sort of carefree attitude in, in, in terms of getting us this uh, this performance we need tonight to get a win. But it'd be great if we can get the win and uh, it would set us up nicely. It would put us on three points with a game to go and put us in a decent position of qualifying for this group. And like I said I'd absolutely love it if we um, if we got out of this group and into the semi-finals. It'd be a, a, a great reward for the. Uh, players for everything they've given so far in pre-season games come in very very thick and fast but uh, yeah hopefully a positive result for us tonight and then we can go on to Thursday's match um, full of confidence and, and taking it from there but I will report back after this um, this little section with uh, my post game thoughts and um, as I say sometimes with a smile on my face but um, yeah, I'll, I'll do it now instead at the end of the video because I know I always do it at the end of the video. But thanks for everybody for um, watching these videos. But, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And um, 
and click the bell and you'll get notifications of when we post videos. We've got quite a few uh, videos coming out recently with uh, sort of 20 questions, players' blogs, match highlights, full match, um, story of Bristol United. So there's plenty of plenty of things going on on our channel to keep you uh, keep you involved with the club. But um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will report back with my post-game thoughts in a minute. So, reporting back after tonight's um, game against Bristol Spartak, um, it was a 3-0 defeat for, for us. Um, really never got going tonight um, at all uh, in, in the game. Um, deservedly beaten 3-0 comfortably and Bristol Sparta I've got to say you've got to take your hats off and give them credit they, they were much better than us um, all over the pitch really but from for my lads tonight we, we, we just didn't get going at all um, we was slow at the blocks um, a bit unusual for us tonight I mean the lads gave their all and, and certainly tried their best and worked hard but it was there was just a lack of sort of punch in our performance tonight um i said is unusual and i don't often say that about this team because they, they're normally given their all whether they win lose or draw they're normally um all out and and sort of always at it but unusual tonight um two defeats out of two in the field cup which means um we can't progress to the to the semi-final we do still have the game Thursday because it's part of a group stage um our final game so again that'd be a, a good chance to um test ourselves against um a good opposition and to sort of get minutes in players legs who said some haven't been playing recently returning from injury and stuff like that so um, we'll give it our all on Thursday because it's only fair to the other teams in the competition. But um, yeah, it's a very tough game tonight. Um, unusually, an unusual performance from the lads tonight, De definitely. Um, but I mean, you you get them in football and and you you get off days and there's there's no sort of a criticism from 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 my team tonight. So so it's it's an unusual, and it's not um, it's it's, it's not uh, normally in there character to sort of put in that kind of performance but a lot of games recently that could be an effect um also having an effect in the said it's only saturday we played a very hard game but yeah on to thursday um we take it on the chin tonight congratulations to um to uh bristol spartak thoroughly deserved very good performance and very strong all over the pitch but um on to thursday and we will see what uh what what side we have available for them for that game and um we'll go out and give it our own obviously hopefully trying to finish on a on a, a positive note in the tournament but there's been some great learnings for the team um in these past two tournaments the Fieldwood cup what we're in now and also the fries cup so we face some top top opposition um and that that was the whole point of going into it of learnings for my players and and it, we certainly have learned and I've learned as a manager there's certain things I'm trying and certain things and all of us right from the lip is like from the top down is, is a learning curve for all of us which we will hopefully um, aid us in our campaign season campaign which obviously is not too far away now less than a month um, but yeah that's hopefully we'll um, we'll take all that into uh, you know in, 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 in this year and that that certainly hopefully will give us a boost and some some learnings against some I said some really good players really good sides and um, but yeah so on to Thursday and I will be back then with another blog and I will see you then.